All right, welcome back. Uh, where we left off, we had just created uh, in the previous video uh, these uh, two methods here, uh, set mode and get mode for our pins. Uh, I made a couple other modifications here. I, I created a, uh, a, a second translate mode, just like we did translate error. We've got it going both ways. I did the same thing for mode to go both ways uh, because here when we get the mode, we want to translate it to our GPIO modes. Uh, so that we have our uh, C++ version of these modes rather than relying upon <coughs> the uh, defines within the GPIO because outside of this, uh, we don't want to be looking at that, that header file at all. We want to have our own, uh, our own view of the, this world so that we don't have a depend we don't pass the dependency on, on pigpio on to other things that use our library. So uh, that'll simplify, simplify things quite a lot. Uh, we want to test these real quickly. So what I'm going to do is uh, is do this very simply. I'm going to uh, uh, point uh, point a little application at this, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is bring up. Uh, uh, do I have? I do not. I have not even installed. Um, I have not installed uh, Visual Studio Code on this, so let's uh, well let's see how to do that. Um, let's uh, let's go here to uh, to Google and let's go uh, uh, Raspy Four install VS Code. Let's see what the procedure is. Well, you can see I've already clicked on it, so I have used this before. <laughs> And I don't try to remember all these every install procedure. There's just too much stuff out there. So I always generally look it up uh, and see. Um, installing Visual Studio Code. ARM build. Uh, that's what we want. Uh, it looks like we may have to. I don't remember having to download it. I thought it was just a uh, uh, maybe it was a download okay all right well let's go uh, Go to the Visual Studio Code website, and uh, yeah, I think it is. This is the one we want. Uh, Windows, Debian. Oh, I don't see an ARM build. Let's go back to here. Visual Studio it's on website. Scroll down and see the download buttons shown below. Okay, so we have two different architectures to choose from. One is the base ARM build, the other is ARM64 build. ARM. Okay. ARM. ARM64. That's what. We, uh, no, we want the standard ARM. But I don't want to download it here. I want to go into here, bring up a browser. So that was, uh, I was using the browser on my Windows machine, and this is the browser on the Pi itself. Uh, just in case you're wondering about that, we'll just paste the, uh, what the heck? All right, let me go back. Here, how come it didn't uh, copy that correctly? Let's go here. There we go. So this is the uh, this is the uh, VNC uh, connection. Uh, so Windows Debian RPM. We want Debian ARM, not ARM sixty four. So. There, it's downloading. It 
looks like it's finished. We want to keep it. We'll do a show in folder. Okay, so now I do believe we can do this and go to package installer. Do you want to install this? Install it. I got to type in my password here. Actually, it may be easier uh, to, uh, I'll probably cut this out, but uh, I'll tell you, it may be easier. So we do have Visual Studio Code now. That's good. Let's see, did it install it in here? Uh, yes, it did. There's Visual Studio Code. So we can use this, but uh, it would probably be easier to create a new project in here. So let's go new project. Uh, application console application choose uh, home pie no we don't want that create in uh, projects raspberry pi course choose and we'll call it um uh, it, i think we need well We'll try this. Uh, Pig Pio test console. Next, let's see what it's going to do. Next, next, finish. And let's hope. go here good it created a folder for it okay that's what I thought all right so we can now go here and just like we did before we want to add uh, uh, add a library and it's an internal library and the library is called GPIO that's the one that's the one we created so finish so it's added our GPIO uh, uh, header. It's added our uh, GPIO lib. Oh, this is the GPIO profile. I don't know why I opened that. Save. Well, let's try it. Let's go pound include uh, GPI GP. IO found include GPIO. Okay, now what was the problem here? Oh, that's because it was GPIO. Darn it. Okay, that so I've got both projects open. I clicked on the wrong one. Great, so we got to remove target defines. Pig Pio. Yeah, we don't want to add ourself to this. We don't want to add GPIO to this. <clears throat> All right. We want to go here to the test console and add a library. Internal library. Library is going to be our back. External library. File. Browse. GPIO.
build I have a build for that why don't I have a build location for this So it ended up out here because I moved it, but it still thinks that its location belongs up there. So that's where the uh, where that library is. We've got it now. I'll do a save and close this, and we can close this. So now we should be able to go. Let's try that all over again. Pound include GPIO GP. It's not seeing it. GP. Well, we'll try that. We'll try build. go back into here and see why it's not include path ah so it's the include path isn't there okay That's fine. Let's uh, let's take it out. Let's take this entire thing out and redo it. I didn't do the library properly. Add library. External library. <coughs> Browse. Yes, we want that. Open that. But here for the include path, what we want is back to here projects raspberry pi course gpio next or choose next finish save that save it save all and now quote quote gpio Dot H. There we go. What doesn't it like now? Oh, it's good. So, here in our QT console app, we can go uh, uh, GPIO. Uh, oh, we can go uh, found. Oh, we can just go auto. GPIO equals GPIO colon colon get GPIO. <coughs> What's the problem here? GPIO dot H. Ah, this should have been static. build this and let's go back to here let's do a build okay and we'll go GPIO pointer set mode pin uh, GPIO pin I don't know nine uh, GPIO modes colon colon uh, input and then uh, we'll just go uh, auto 
uh, mode equals GPIO pointer get mode nine pin nine. Make it. The builds okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and run this. See what happens. Is it going to show a console at all? <laughs> Is it going to do anything? output okay what we will do is ls cd build dot slant big pio test console Arrow while, while loading shared libraries, live pigpio.so.1 cannot open shared object file, no such file as it, or directory. Hmm. ls minus la slant user slant live slant pigpio. No. Slant live pig. Pio dot so user live live pig pio dot so so what's it say here? Uh, what do we got wrong? <coughs> okay. Oh well, for one thing. Shared libraries like P live pigpio.so.1 cannot open shared live object file. And that was in user live. That should be in the path. All right, I'm back. Uh, real quick, uh, what what the problem with uh, from our last uh, our last video had a little trouble running the uh, application. Uh, the reason is we need to set the LD library path pointing to our uh, uh, GPIO desktop debug folder where the library is, and of course we have to run it as sudo as well. And so an easy way to do that is with a with a simple startup bash file <clears throat> where I've uh, gone sudo uh, ld library path equals this and then dot slant gpio test console and this needs to be run of course from that directory uh, so we can exit that and then we just do chmod u plus x startup dot sh and we can just do dot slant startup dot sh and there init gpio pins and that appears to be working 
uh, without any errors. If we run that without, uh, if we just do uh, uh, this without the sudo on it, which is the same thing as in that startup here, uh, we'll get some errors. Uh, sorry, you don't have permission to run this program. Try running as root. Uh, this is uh, from the initialization init check permitted. Uh, and then uh, it's say, giving an error also that it's not, it's uninitialized um, there. So, <clears throat> yeah, so we have to run it with, uh, with sudo, at least for now, uh, because it's accessing the hardware. And we've talked about that before. We're going to, we're going to work on a way around that at some point in time here, uh, where we'll have, uh, we'll either use the daemon version of this library, which uh, then your application doesn't require root. Uh, so there it is. It's a GPL pins in it that worked. So, uh, all right. So this is just a little supplemental video to, to fix that. Uh, and perhaps I'll put this on the end of the previous video. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.